Solving an equation with an unknown denominator for tangent. What is x? x is the unknown side that we have to solve. What is solve? Finding the unknown numeral to make the number sentence true. So how do we find x? Well, x is adjacent to the angle 42 degrees and the side 24 centimeters is the opposite of the angle. So we use the trigonometric ratio for tangent. Tangent theta equals to the opposite side over the adjacent side. To find x, we substitute our known side and x into the ratio, which is tan 42 degrees equals to 24 over x. So we multiply x so that it is on the other side. x bracket tan 42 degrees equals to 24. Then we divide the bracket tan 42 degrees so that x is the subject. Now we can use a calculator to find x equals to 24 over tan 42. Twenty-four over ten forty-two equals to twenty-six point six five. We round it off to two decimal places. Solving equations with the unknown angle. In order to solve the equation with the unknown angle, we are going to use the trigonometric ratio sine. We use sine because sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. In this triangle, we are only given the hypotenuse and opposite, so we have to use the ratio sine. The first step is to label each point with a letter. We know that the hypotenuse equals CA as it is the longest side of the triangle. We now have to identify the opposite. The opposite is the side directly opposite of the unknown angle. In this case, it is AB. We now have the needed information to sub into the equation. The equation is set out as sine theta equals 5 over 10. In order to find the missing angle, we must move sine to the other side, leaving the unknown by itself. In the calculator, we will type in shift sine bracket 5 over 10 bracket. The shift is necessary and it is moved to the other side, making it become negative 1. The answer should be 30. We will now show an actual demonstration on the calculator. In the calculator, you will press shift sine bracket 5 over 10 bracket equals. The answer should be 30. We now know how to solve equations to find the unknown angle. In this example, we are asked to find the value of the unknown angle. In relation to the unknown angle, we are given the side next to the unknown, which is the adjacent, and the side opposite, which is the hypotenuse. We have been given the adjacent side, which is 4, and the hypotenuse, which is 5. We now know that we need to use the cosine ratio to find the value of the unknown angle. The cosine ratio is cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Substituting the numbers in the ratio, we will get cosine theta equals 4 over 5. When the angle is unknown, we press shift and then cosine. Then you press 4 divided by 5 and close the bracket. Now you press the equal sign and you'll get the answer 
36.86989765. Using a calculator, we are going to find out where sine, cosine and tangent are located. For example, sol solve cosine 25 using a calculator and then round it off to two decimal places. Press cos 25 close bracket then press the equals button. Do you get 0 0.906307787? To round off the value of cosine 25, we have to look at the whole value. This is the first digit and this is the second. It is easier to draw a line after the second digit to determine if the digit after the line is equal or greater than 5. In this case, the digit 6 is placed after the line. As the digit 6 is greater than 5, the digit on the left hand side, which is 0, increases its value by 1. So the final value of cosine 25 rounded off to two decimal places would equal to 0 0.91. Hello Year 10, I am Naomi and I am Samantha. Today we will be learning about how to use the correct trigonometry ratio to find the unknown in right angle triangles. We have learned that there are three types of trigonometry ratios, sine, cosine and tangent. We always start with the given angle. Be careful though, we aren't referring to the right angle. No, we are referring to the angle either marked as theta, with a pronoun or with a given value. After locating this angle, we then determine the adjacent side, opposite side, and of course the hypotenuse. Now we will start off with the ratio sign. In order to use this ratio, we need to be given two vital things. These are the opposite side to the angle and the hypotenuse. In this example, we have an unknown angle, theta, and we can see that AC is 9 cm and BC is 5 cm. To find theta, we look at what we have. We see that the hypotenuse has been provided and BC is opposite theta. So seeing that we have the two vital things that are needed in the sine ratio, we solve using sine. Cosine. In this ratio, we need the hypotenuse and the adjacent side to the angle. In this example, we have again the same unknown angle, theta. But also, we are provided with the hypotenuse AC 9cm and the adjacent side AB 6cm. So seeing that the triangle has provided us with the two most important things in the cosine ratio, we will be solving the pronumal by cosine. Lastly, we will be seeing the tangent ratio. If the hypotenuse is not provided, then there will be two other sides, an adjacent side to the unknown angle and the opposite side to the unknown angle. In this example, we have the same unknown angle, theta, AB at 6 cm and BC at 5 cm. Looking at what the triangle has provided us, we see no hypotenuse. Seeing that there are the two other sides provided, we know that the tangent ratio is needed to find the unknown angle theta. Now that we know the basics when to use the trigonometry ratio, there is still some more learning to do. All three ratios can actually be used in the same triangle. It just depends on what unknown angle you look in at. In this example, we want to find the unknown angle alpha. And seeing that the triangle has provided us with AC 9cm and BC 7cm, we would know from basic knowledge that to find alpha, we would have to use cosine ratio. However, with the unknown angle theta, we would have to use the ratio sine due to the fact that BC is the opposite side. As you can see, that it really depends on the angle we are looking from even with the same measurements. Now we are going to solve using the tangent ratio. In this example, you can see that they have provided two sides, AC 5 cm and BC 8 cm. As there is no hypotenuse provided, we know that we have to use the tangent ratio. So now we set out the equation. Tan theta equals to AC over BC equals to 8 over 5 equals to tan inverted 8 over 5 equals to 57.99 units.
Now we are going to learn how to use the calculator to solve the tangent ratio. Using the previous example, find the button that says shift in the top left hand corner of your calculator. Then look for the button that says tan. Above that button you should see tan inverted. On the screen of your calculator you should see this. Next you have to press the fraction button. In the numerator, type in the number 8. Then press the down arrow button to get the cursor in the denominator. Type in the number 5. Then press the right arrow button. Press the close bracket button. And finally, press the equal sign to find the answer.